this kit contains medical gear that you can use to stop yourself from bleeding, to stop other people from bleeding, and to save a life or to stop gap and injury while you're waiting for the ambulance to arrive. We open up the main compartment and first things first, we've got a tourniquet. If your patient or yourself has a severe arterial bleed, okay, one of your arteries in your arms or legs has been severed, you literally have minutes, and I'm not talking five or ten, I'm talking two or three minutes to stop that blood from flowing before that patient dies. I've got Coban, or what they like to call Vet Wrap. Vet Wrap is great for dressing wounds. If you want to get a little bit fancier, if you want to spend a little bit of extra money, you can get a pre-made pressure dressing. This pre-made pressure dressing right here comes from North American Rescue. It's got a blood soaker right there. It's got elastic material, and you can wrap somebody's wound up nice and tight. What is a good way for you to be able to maintain an airway on an unconscious patient? Put a nose hose in them and maintain an open airway. If it's dark, you're going to need light. I like to stash chem lights all over the place so that I can use those in case it's dark. I also have a spare flashlight. I always keep one on me, but I have a spare just in case. If you're interested in learning more, what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and go to the Student of the Gun University, click on the Beyond the Band-Aid training course. If you're interested in gear like this, you can go to places like NorthAmericanRescue.com or NARescue.com, and you can look for more gear from them.